Hey hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a head-to-head -head GPU battle. And trust me, this one's gonna be good. On one side, we've got the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT, one of AMD's newest beasts, built for gamers and high-end creators. On the other side, the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000, a workstation monster that costs more than some used cars. So the question is, which one should you get in 2025? Is the RX 9070 XT enough for pro work? Or is the Quadro still worth the premium? Grab a snack, hit that like button, and let's dive in. All right, before we compare numbers, let's set the scene. The Radeon RX 9070 XT is AMD's new high-end GPU, based on their RDNA 4 architecture. It's built for extreme gaming, content creation, streaming, and even light pro workloads, all without breaking the bank. Now the Quadro RTX 6000 from NVIDIA is in a totally different category. This is a workstation card made for engineers, 3D modelers, AI developers, and Hollywood-level VFX artists. It's not really designed for gaming, but we'll get into that soon. Here's the thing, though. Prices have shifted a lot. You used to pay $5,000 for a Quadro, but now you can find the less than $2,000 used, sometimes less. The RX 9070 XT, around $899 new. So yeah, people are starting to compare them and wonder if they need to spend big or not. Okay, let's pull up the spec sheets and break it down. AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT, architecture RDNA 4, Stream processors, 14,336. Base clock, approximately 2.3 GHz. Boost clock, over 2.7 GHz. VRAM, 16 GB, GDDR6. Memory bus, 384-bit. TDP, 325 watts. Price, around 1182. NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000. Architecture, Touring. CUDA cores, 4608 base clock 1.4 gigahertz boost clock 1.77 gigahertz vram 24 gigabytes gddr6 with ecc tdp 295 watts launch price over four thousand dollars current price used two thousand dollars now yeah the radeon looks super strong on paper it has way more raw power newer tech and way higher clocks but don't be fooled, the Quadro isn't about flashy numbers, it's about reliability, precision, and industry certification. That ECC memory, it helps detect and fix errors, super important for critical workloads. Alright gamers, let's talk performance. In games like Cyberpunk 2077, Elden Ring, Starfield, and even competitive stuff like Warzone or Fortnite, the RX 9070 XT absolutely shreds. You're getting 4K ultra performance with high frame rates, super smooth gameplay, and support for AMD's FSR 3.0 upscaling tech. So even if the native frames dip, you're still golden. Now the Quadro RTX 6000, yeah, it can run games, but it's not meant for it. You'll see lower frame rates, sometimes 30 to 40% lower than the 9070 XT in AAA games. Plus, Drivers aren't optimized for gaming, so weird glitches or stutters can happen. If gaming is your main goal, no question, the RX 9070 XT dominates here. It's not even close. All right now, let's flip the coin. Let's talk professional work. This is where the Quadro RTX 6000 flexes its muscles. In apps like Autodesk Maya, Blender, DaVinci Resolve, SolidWorks, CAD software, and even AI model training, the Quadro is on another level. Why? Certified drivers, pro-level driver support, and ECC memory, which means more stability and less chance of corrupt results during long renders. The RX 9070 XT can definitely handle creative apps too, especially if you're into video editing, YouTube, Photoshop, and Blender but it's not built for massive, complex production pipelines. You might run into crashes or driver quirks under heavy stress. So, 
If you're running critical workloads, like film studio level stuff, big engineering simulations, or 24-7 AI training, the Quadro's a safer bet. Let's talk features real quick. The RX 9070 XT has ray tracing support, second gen RT cores, FSR 3.0 and anti-lag plus, AV1 encoding for streaming, great support for gaming tools and overlays. The Quadro RTX 6000 brings ECC memory for error-free rendering, 48 RT cores, 576 Tensor Cores, AI and ML support. Certified drivers for pro apps, support for multi-GPU systems, and large-scale simulations. So again, it's about use case. One card is built to go fast and look pretty. The other is built to never fail, ever. So here's the big question. Which one's right for you? If you're a gamer, a YouTuber, a streamer, or even a solo creator, just get the RX 9070 XT. You'll save thousands and still get insane performance. If you're a professional artist, engineer, or you run critical renders for work and you need 100% uptime, Quadro's still the king. Just be ready to pay for that peace of mind. If you're somewhere in the middle, a creative who also gains a lot, the RX might actually be the better all-arounder. Just depends how mission critical your work is. And that's it for this showdown. Let me know in the comments, are you team AMD or team Nvidia? Which one would you pick for your setup? Smash that like button if you found this helpful. Sub if you want more GPU deep dives and I'll catch you legends in the next one. Peace out.